Okay, as you can see, it's making an espresso, but please keep in mind, this machine looks so cheap and it's all plastic. You can hear when I tap on it, it's just really has a cheap look, a cheap feel, which is interesting because this part looks so nice. And on the very bottom, you can't really see, but it's copper and it looks gorgeous. And yet the rest of the machine looks really uh, not very nice. Connectivity is something that just didn't happen with this machine. I'm so disappointed. Um, and if you look at this, I press the button for espresso, but I'd like you to see um, how much came out. This is not just one shot of espresso. Look at that, and it doesn't even look very, very rich. It's watered down, and uh, something's going on with this machine, but it's sure not uh, performing as it should. And I just set it up here real quick to test it out. But this is the basic setup. On top, you get there's your your water. You add your add your beans here to the top, and that smells delicious. And functionality. When you first turn it on, and mine comes with this nice little frothing uh, container, but when you first turn it on, it does a rinse. And so it will run water through the frother and through the, um, I guess, actually brewing, brewing port there. I think it waits for a second to heat up before it cleans, rinses out the tubes. It just squirts a little bit of water through both uh, the frothing tube and the brewing port there. 
And so now we're, we're ready to brew. And I'm just gonna do an espresso here. You pick your brew. Grinds up the coffee. And there, I think that's packing the coffee. And in the meantime, the water's heating up. And that motor sound was pushing a little puck of coffee down into the waste. And so there you got your beautiful cup of espresso. Delicious. Oh man, I've got a buzz from drinking so many, <laughs> testing it out. And you can pull this out and then just dump that any, any waste you have. And then here's the, the waste bin for getting rid of your little coffee pucks, the waste from the coffee. But that's the setup. It's actually pretty sweet.
This is the issue I've been having with this espresso machine. It's constantly getting stuck in this rinsing mode. The only way to bypass it is by completely unplugging the machine, letting it sit for a couple seconds and replugging it in. But I experience this about a weekly basis of it getting stuck in the rinsing mode. Let's see if it does it today. When it works properly, it's actually pretty nice, and I actually like this little uh, purging mode. All right, ready to go. Move this up, grab a cup here. I already have this pre-programmed uh, to my cup, which you can utilize in the app. Self eject its own pots. And steam wand's got to purge itself. When this light stops blinking, that means that the steam wand is ready. I also suggest keeping a washcloth nearby because I just kind of wipe down everything there. Got my milk. My only complaint with this is that this is not an adjustable wand. You can move it side to side, but other than that, you actually have to hold it up into the cup. 